Eight News broke the story, and tonight we have new developments about a Richmond pastor and allegations of sexual abuse. Eight News anchor and investigator Carrie O'Brien has the update. Police in Texas have confirmed to me that they are actively investigating the Rock's pastor, Geronimo Aguilar, on allegations of child molestation. The news comes just a day after two alleged victims spoke to 8 News. I was about 11 when um, I had my first encounter with Geronimo. Um, that was inappropriate. Allegations of sexual abuse and a protest in front of Pastor G's church, The Rock. We really just are out here because we've had allegations from victims and we feel like they need a voice. It prompted others to come forward today. I feel like this, you know, if you know sin, and don't do something about it, you're just as bad as sin. This former pastor with the Rock Church has asked us to hide his identity, but he claims he had to walk away from the Rock after he witnessed inappropriate behavior between Pastor G and some of the wives on church trips. I'm talking about uh, adulterous, adulterous relationship. Some of the people who have left the church are very credible people, and um, and I believe them. Don Blake is with the Virginia Christian Alliance. He is not speaking on behalf of the Alliance, but because of his work, he knows the faith community, The Rock, and Pastor G. Well. And he says the accusations of sexual abuse and adultery come as no surprise to him. For a number of years, I would say three years or so, many people have believed this. So why didn't anyone speak up until now? now I've heard of so many people who were threatened with lawsuits or they can't come back on the property. But for the alleged victims, now adults, they say they could no longer stand to be silent and let someone else get hurt. I knew it was wrong, me only being 11 and him being an adult and being married and being a pastor, he brainwashes you into thinking that you love him. He had convinced me of that, that we were in some type of real relationship, not like, you know, this wasn't a hold you down and hurt you thing. Texas authorities confirmed to 8 News based on these claims. They are actively investigating Pastor G for lewd acts on children when he was a pastor in Texas. 8 News has also confirmed a complaint against Pastor G was filed with the Richmond Police Department several years ago, but no charges were ever brought against the pastor. I've been clean for over 10 years, been drug free. Uh, I have a wonderful wife, a beautiful church that I attend, a wonderful church family and friends, a great pastor. But many others here in Richmond say Pastor G and The Rock saved them from addiction. You can find numerous testimonials on YouTube, and many of our viewers defend the pastor on Facebook. Maria Chapman writes, Pastor G, you rock, 100% behind an awesome man of God. And Chris Self says, I am very surprised personally I met this man and attended his church. Very kind, selfless man of God. Once again, we reached out to The Rock and to the pastor for an interview. Our requests were denied, but the pastor's attorney tells me Pastor G is innocent. Carrie O'Brien, 8 News.